What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Six Empty coming to you guys with a video right now. So I want to go over a couple cornerbacks right now. Um, Eagles have been looking for a cornerback in free agency. Obviously, they tried to get a Dory Jackson, did not work. You know, Steven Nelson is, is the best coverage guy still out there. And other than that, I really wouldn't take a um, chance on McKenzie or, or Gary and Conley or, you know, guys like that um, unless they want to, you know, maybe Jonathan Gannon could do something with some of these guys. So what do you go, what do you do in the draft, you know, with the six overall pick? Do you move back and trade back for a certain? Do you go after a J.C. Horn and move up in the draft with some picks that you do have? Uh, is Caleb Farley going to be there in the second round? Probably not. So what you do is you go in the second round, and there are a couple guys that you could get. And one of them is Eric Stokes from Georgia. And I think Eric Stokes, um, his, his pro day was fantastic. 4.25, 38.5 vertical, um, 6'1", 185. So he is tall, but got a small frame, which is fantastic, which is fine because we're all used to these undersized corners. You know, these undersized corners that we've had are good. Some of them are, you know, like Ronald Darby and what we've had and Jalen Mills, like are in good positions to do things um, in coverage. But unfortunately, just because of their size, they go after a, a big receiver. Um, there is trouble and uh, can't I and mean, we can't knock down those balls. So his his uh, stats. So he's only allowed three career touchdowns, uh, placing off four passes, knocking down 22 balls out of the air, record 75 tackles, two tackles for loss and a sack. OK. Now, he handles press coverage really good. Man coverage is his number one recipe, okay? Very physical with his hands. Could stay with deep, uh, very fast receivers downfield. He, at the turn of his hips, um, keeps his eyes on the football, always gets his hands on the football. He's just a very physical specimen of a, of a corner. He doesn't back down. Like, I've seen, um, you know, I've seen videos of him, you know, giving up. You know, if he gives up a long reception, his head's not down. He gets right back to the game, and uh, he's a very poised corner, which I do like. And I think he's only going to get better, you know, down the road. So, it's really good. I think he's got a good football IQ. Um, you know, I, I think against the against run he's fantastic and he can get off blocks at times but i think just you know with, with nfl experience once he gets onto a roster he'll he'll play fantastic so um eric stokes is definitely a looker in the second round maybe late in the second or it could be early third early third i don't know how much he's gonna drop but i do like eric stokes a lot now to go to another cornerback is going to be Tyson Campbell. Okay, now Tyson Campbell is almost the same size as Stokes, 6'2", 185, a little bit taller. Um, but some are saying that he's a better zone coverage guy than he is man. He actually plays pretty good man. I think he's a well-balanced cornerback um, when it comes to both. Okay, now... He engages his receivers pretty well. He puts his hands on them. Um, he can, And I think with the one trait that's really good about him is he can actually get off blocks. Very good against the run. He can get off blocks easily uh, and make tackles. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I think, you know, with, with Campbell, he's a well-balanced cornerback. And I think that's, you know, I don't know if that's what the Eagles want. I mean, you, lo you want corners that can play zone. But, you know, with having Darius Slay already on the roster, you want a guy like Stokes or a guy like Campbell. You know, more, more likely, I would definitely draft Eric Stokes over Tyson Campbell. But at the same time, you know... Stokes is very good with man coverage, good with his hands, good with staying with receivers downfield. Um, you know, I think Campbell has had his moments. You know, I think every corner has, but I think Campbell's had his moments where, you know, he's lost to man coverage. He's had, you know, maybe late turn around with his hips. He's, he's been late turning around, going upfield on the break of the route. Um, you know, and, and that just happens. But I think as a role player, you know, maybe Campbell as a role player for defense um, will work better. But Eric Stokes looks like more of the real deal when it comes to his ceiling um, in the NFL. Not saying that not saying that Campbell can't do anything later down the road, but um, I do like I do like what both these corners bring to the table. I think they would be very good players uh, coming to the NFL. So um, his forty was four point four in the four point four range. So not as quick, not as fast, but on the field he looks different than he did when on his pro day. He looks different more on the field, and that's what's that's that's kind of what happens with most players um, when they come into a combine or obviously a pro day this year. We don't have a combine, obviously. So uh, there you have it, Eric Stokes, uh, Tyson Campbell. Uh, 
um, the Georgia Bulldogs two corners that could go second, third round. And um, I would obviously draft Eric Stokes before Campbell, but um, I think they have very high ceilings going to the NFL, and we'll see what happens. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if I missed anything. Obviously, I don't follow these guys their whole career. Um, I like these guys. Uh, but if you guys have followed them and you have some additional information to give me down in the comment section below, I'll definitely read everything. And, um, you know, yeah. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Two cornerbacks. We need them. So other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later. Shake split up, files five. Peace out, guys. Peace.